Ah, oh, just look at that sunset. Nature is so beautiful, isn't it? Mmm, yes, smells like nature. Greetings, internet traveler. How have you been? Last episode, I promised that I would fill up the cow breeder, and that I have done. Uh, we now are making beef and leather. Uh, I don't have any in there, but rest assured, if I give them some wheat, uh, they will cram into each other because of entity cramming, and the adults will give me beef and leather, which is great. Now, I did revert these spruce beams uh, back to oak ones, uh, because I asked in the last episode if you guys thought it looked better or worse, and one of you, Zachary, uh, commented that it actually looked better before, and honestly, the more I looked at it, the more I thought that he was right. So I have reverted it back to oak. And I have done a few other things. I've collected some resources. I have leveled up. You can see I am on level 32 now. And I have also made a clear path into the nether fortress from our nether portal. However, in the process of doing so, I managed to die unfortunately. But I got back up and got all of my stuff back that I lost. So we now actually have six more diamonds. Three of them are the pickaxe that I lost. Uh, but now we have eight in total. And I also have a whole bunch of iron, a bunch of gold, and a bunch of amethyst. And I have quite a few plans for today's episode. But the main thing we're going to be doing is going to be making an enchantment setup. However, first I would like to do something that was recommended by my main man, very nice username. <laughs> he suggested that I put down some lanterns. So let's do that. Honestly, when I heard that, I thought, why did I not think to do that in the first place? Maybe like this. Oh, very nice. I like that. Yes, this looks so much better. I'm not sure what to do with this side though, because I can't put it down on the chain because it'll be a bit too low. Perhaps I could replace this chest, which is empty anyways. I just put it there for the sake of looks. Perhaps I could replace it with a slab and make kind of like a nightstand with a lantern on top of it. Yes, way better. Look at that. I love the lanterns. They were a really nice addition. Oh, and this should probably be lit up as well. There we go. Lanterns all over the place. Now for those brilliant ideas, I am awarding my main man 10 internet points and I am awarding Zachary another 10 internet points. Very nice ideas, guys. Anyways, uh, so let's get into business. Last episode, I found potatoes in that village. So let's go and plant some of these because, you know, potatoes are quite a valuable resource for us. So yes, enchantment setup. Now, where should I put this? I think I will make it above ground. I kind of have a habit of putting my enchantment setups underground and carving out a room, but I think this time I'll mix it up a little bit and make a nice enchantment room above ground. Maybe somewhere around here, yes. Now, let's make this enchantment table and I will pretty much just build the house around it but I wanna have the enchantment table first. We'll need some leather and, oh, right, sugar cane. That is something that I still do not have. So let me just go and find some. And it's probably going to be easier if I take this boat. Something that I wanted to announce in this video is that I've recently been interested in this idea of free content from the point of view of rights, because you guys have probably heard about copyright law and you know that there are many companies out there who are very eager to, you know, sue or just start trouble with anybody who uses a piece of their content, maybe not in the way they would have preferred. And I just don't think that's great for the creative world. And anybody who wants to make derivative works, maybe fan art, anything that is related to the original works. Oh, here we have the sugar cane. And I've been learning about the whole idea of Creative Commons. If you don't know, Creative Commons is a kind of license that you could release your content under, where depending on which one you choose, you can either allow people to make derivative works, whether or not you want them to be able to monetize it, that's up to you, whether or not you want them to have to attribute it to the original author, or if you just wanna make it public domain altogether, 
that's up to you. So I've decided to release all of my content, which includes my music and all of my videos, under Creative Commons Attribution Sharealike, which means that you can make derivative works, you can even make money off of your derivative works, but you cannot say that you were the creator of the original. And also you have to release your version, whatever derivative work you've made, under the same Creative Commons Attribution Sharealike license. Now, this is not the most permissive license I could have used. Obviously there's Creative Commons Zero, but I personally quite liked the nature of Creative Commons share alike specifically because it also makes you release your content for free for other people to use, which I think is great. So that is what I decided to go with. And if you would like to use any of my videos or my music, not that they're particularly interesting in my opinion, but regardless, you are free to do so. So here we go. Let me place down this enchantment table. It is going to go right about here. And now I just need to put down all the bookshelves around it. And before I forget, let me just go place down the sugar cane so that it continues growing. And I think I have a good idea for the floor of this new room that I'm making. I think it would be a really nice contrast and kind of complement the whole aesthetic quite nicely if we make it out of quartz which is all white and elegant. I don't have that many blocks of quartz though. I will probably have to go back to the nether and get some more. Oh, I just heard an enderman. Oh God, no. I really need these endermen because eventually we're going to go into the end and I really need those ender pearls. There we go. Got one ender pearl. Perhaps if I am lucky enough, we could actually go looking for the stronghold. But I will definitely not be going into the end anytime soon because I need to first get enough ender pearls to actually fill the portal that I find. And I also need to get better gear. Oh, just barely had enough. Now, as soon as I start getting the leather and the sugar cane, I will start putting down the bookshelves around this thing. But yeah, this is a good start, I think. I am still not sure what kind of design I'm going to go for for this building, but perhaps I could make this kind of open uh, without any sort of roof. I do have one idea in mind. We'll see if it works well here. Oh, wow. I was looking for some more sugarcane and I just saw foxes. Look at that. I actually don't know how you're supposed to lure them, to be honest. Oh my God, they just went in the water. I gotta catch up with them. Yes, I got them in the boat. Look at that, I have foxes now. Not sure how I'll get them back though. I guess I should just make a second boat. I can't believe I just got two foxes. I thought this would be like a mid to late game thing, but I guess not for me. Oh, wow. I was uh, just looking for sugarcane with my fox. And look at that, dripstone caves. This is actually my first time discovering dripstone caves in Minecraft. Wow, that goes deep. I will have to remember these coordinates. Anyways, let's head back and get back to work on the enchanting room. So yeah, you guys stay here for now. I will get back to you when I have leashes in the future. So this sugar cane should actually make it possible to make how many bookshelves? Is that going to be just one for now? Yes, just one bookshelf. Well, you know what? If you ask me, one is a start. And here it is. Just need 11 more to have the full set and a few more than that to make it actually look nice and complete. But I'm pretty sure in Minecraft 12 bookshelves is where you need to get level 30 enchantments. So I'm going to use stone bricks for this. And also I think I will use a block that frankly I have hardly built anything with in Minecraft, which is chiseled stone bricks. Okay, let's see. I think I want this to be circular uh, on its base and I want to have these pillars going around it which might look something like this. I think that is a really nice pattern so that might just be what I go for. Although I think this is a little too close. All right I have built out what I was thinking but I think these ones should actually go four blocks away. So yeah this is probably it. Now let's see what it's going to look like with the pillars actually fully built. I think I'm going to make this four blocks tall, but I'm not quite sure 
how I want this to transition into the probably ring that's gonna go around it. Hmm. You know what? I think it would actually be nice to have either glowstone or shroom light in here because right now we don't have any source of light around this area and I definitely don't want to just put down torches. If I put glowstone there, I think that would look quite nice. Something kind of like that, maybe? You know what, the trap doors definitely do not work here. Honestly, I don't like the glowstone here. And I think that I should make it even higher than this. Perhaps five blocks. So maybe if we just extend the pattern further, that might work. You know what, that's not too bad. All right, I have built up all of the pillars. And yes, I think this is definitely the right height. I'm now going to make the ring around it. Well, I don't know if I can do it right now, to be honest, because I think to complement the floor, which is quartz, I am going to make this ring out of quartz as well. I will have to find out how to incorporate the light into this build a bit later. Perhaps it could just go in the floor itself. But yeah, I will need a lot of quartz for this build, so I might just kind of build it incrementally over time. And I think it would actually be nice to recess it into the floor a little bit, have it go one block lower. So I'm going to do that now. All right, yeah, so something like this, and then I'm just going to fill this all in with quartz. Okay, I got some more quartz blocks and also a couple more bookshelves. Darn it, that is not even close to enough. But anyways, we're getting there. I will need a lot of quartz and hopefully I'll be able to gather all of it that I need by the next episode, as well as all the sugarcane and leather that I will need to finish up these bookshelves. So far we have three. I'm not sure how many we'll have by the end of this episode, but it's a good start. I was actually planning to even build an XP farm in this episode, but I can really see now that that was a little too ambitious because this is a bigger project than I thought. You know what, I actually quite like the way it's shaping up already. And this is definitely something new for me. I don't think I've ever done this kind of style where it's sort of like an ancient monument and we have this very valuable artifact in the middle. I quite like it, to be honest. I'm also planning to make a nice shed around this um, cow crusher and the sheep, they're just here temporarily. Eventually they'll have their own proper sheep farm with all 16 colors automatically sheared as soon as they grow their wool. You know what, I have so many of these wheat seeds that I should probably just make a composter and put them in that. And we're going to place this right here. Okay, I just came from the nether with a bunch more quartz and three more ender pearls actually. We now have six, which I think will definitely be enough to find a stronghold. So in the next episode, I will probably be looking for the stronghold. I think that will have to make do for this episode. As you can see, we made some pretty decent progress. I started working on this enchantment setup, which is almost done. I will finish this up. It will be done by the beginning of the next episode, or at least this bottom part. I'll definitely have you along for the ride uh, as I'm building the ring on top of these pillars. But yeah, we will have all of the bookshelves in place. And in the next episode, I'm going to go in the nether and probably make a blaze-based XP farm. Yes, uh, we have found another fortress which has a lot of blaze spawners. And I think it would be nice to have a blaze farm in there. In addition to that, I will also find the stronghold, but I'm not going to go into the end quite yet as I don't really have all the ender pearls and my gear is also not the best. But yeah, I think this is some pretty good progress. So in the next episode, I will finally have my Fortune 3 pickaxe, which I've been looking forward to all this time. I'd like to give a reminder that I also have a channel on Odyssey or library, and you can subscribe to me. There is a link in the description below, and you can even unsubscribe from YouTube if you feel like it. I'd also like to give huge thanks to my Patreon supporters. That's William, Vedro Boyev, Mariano, and Minecraft Underground. Thank you guys for supporting me, and Thank you to anyone else who decides to sign up. If you decide to become a tier two member, which coincidentally all of the aforementioned lovely people are tier two members, interestingly enough, you will actually get 48 hour previews. So all of them saw this very video two days earlier. But regardless, thank you all for sticking along and I hope you are looking forward to future episodes. Thanks guys, see you later.